you're probably looking at me like girl what are you wearing why do you look like this but today we're gonna glow up i've spent quite a bit of money i've been financially responsible with my money but i think it's time my keratin has faded away i've been wanting to get new glasses i thought why not take advantage of the opportunity that i will be going to youth camp for the first time so throughout the video there's going to be a lot of different things coming in so this is a bible i'm someone who wants like every single bible in the whole world like i had to choose between a journaling bible like the one that has the spaces to like annotate my current bible bleeds through and there's like no space to kind of like write your thoughts and i don't want to have like an extra book just to do that i'd rather do it on the book and well it just got dark i know and now it's getting bright again and then i also really wanted a bilingual bible which is what i ended up getting and the reason why i wanted a bilingual bible is because like i go to a spanish-speaking church Church. We use one of the oldest versions in Spanish, so I don't really understand what's being said And so I always have to go to my phone and kind of translate it in like NLT, you know Except this is an NLT. This is New English version, the NIV So now I have NLT, NIV, NKJV And since I'm going to youth camp, I thought I need a Bible glow up Because let me show you my current Bible right now I got this as a gift like years ago and unfortunately it's coming apart and I just needed something very new. I mean, I have a few pages that actually ended up falling and you know, I just like, I'm not throwing it out because it's the word of God. I still keep it, I still use it. It's great, I'll probably donate it to the church. But if I'm going to a youth camp, in Spanish we have a word for when you use something that you bought for the first time, estrenar. I wanna estrenar this and I love the smell of books. It smells so good. I've never had like a really big Bible ever in my life. It smells like when you go to those Christian libraries. All right, so we have the new English version in this side, and then we have Reina Valera 1960, which is when we use my church. I love it. I feel like an adult because every single woman has a big Bible like this. I love like this design of a Bible because it feels like so fancy and it looks like a Bible. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta like have a Bible that looks like a Bible, and this is it. I feel like the biggest purchase that I I have made well not officially yet because I haven't gone but I have an appointment is my keratin guys my hair is damaged I'm going to repair it very very soon with my Olaplex kit that I bought a long time ago when I had my keratin but like if you see it every time I shower it just is not the best like I always straighten it blow dry it and it gets like this it's like so damaged it's like my curls want to come back but it can't because I have a keratin treatment, but it's like old and so it just comes out as poofy and it's like it's not the best So we have our keratin treatment coming up Which i'm so excited about and the reason why I bring that up right now is because I have been using like random shampoos in my house Ow, ow, not this bracelet. Oh, no, I don't want to break it I've been using random shampoos in my house that have been making my hair like so oily and greasy and it's like have not been the best and also my bangs are outgrown so it's like I need good shampoos for when I get my keratin. I need to be able to take care of my keratin and provide it like the means that it needs to be able to flourish. So I remember my mom bought these specifically when she would do her hair and it worked so good because I was using it around the same time that I did my keratin. They are the L'Oreal Pears Ever Pure Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner. And they always tell me to use sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. So this is like perfect. It's a vegan formula, no gluten ingredients, dye free and it's meant to quench dryness soften hair it smells so good as well it has rosemary rosemary helps the hair a lot can't wait so the rules for a keratin is like the first three days you're not allowed to tie it back use hair clips and or get it wet so after that you know when you do your normal regular showers and stuff you're gonna have to pass your hair with a blow dryer i haven't been using heat protectants and i think that's why my hair is so damaged so i bought this l'oreal ever pure sulfate free weightless blow dry primer i think this will help my hair so much it has rose extract as well it has 450 fahrenheit heat protection so when i come out the shower
shower. This is the first thing that I'm gonna put on to cover my hair. And I love how it's sulfate free because not many like heat protectants are sulfate free. So then I can have smooth hair when I take my shower after my keratin. I bought this camcorder a long time ago when I went thrifting. Isn't this so cute? My cousin got me this. It goes for like a hundred and something and I bought it for like $12 in a thrift store. The reason why I'm showing you this is because I am planning to use it for the first time in church camp. I want to be in my camcorder era. So I bought a cassette for it. I still need to buy the tools to be able to transfer it into a digital device, but it did come with a lot of cables and I've been doing research, but that's not the point. I want to show you that I bought a cassette. I'm just going to turn it on to show you really quick. And the zoom is so good. I heard like back in the day, this was like the 4K of our generation. So you can see for yourself. Hey guys. I don't know if I'm supposed to open it while it's on, but look at this cassette moving. I hope I didn't damage it, but this is my cassette that I bought, guys. Like, I feel like such an old soul. This is what I bought, and it costs like $30 because they don't really sell these anymore. It's outdated, so I have to be careful. I don't want to be wasting it, but it does like two hours of recording. Oh, shoot. I think it's just like this. See, I forget all the time, too. Oh gosh, it's so embarrassing. It works. But this has like 990 digital zoom. There's so many things that I'm excited for. You have to pack soon. It's literally next week and I have nothing packed. Hopefully everything comes in before because I'm literally gonna be so sad if it doesn't. Guess what came in? My dresses. Hopefully they fit me in stuff. First things first, we have this dress. I'll put a picture up but i'm gonna open it as well with you guys to show you i have this one as well then we got some hair clips for the bangs for example i have like a little bang flyaway so with this clip i could just clip it away i also have these headbands one of them this one this beige one i wanted to match one of the yellow dresses that i bought oh my gosh it's gonna be so cute the little outfit i also came with a black one cute i'm gonna open the dresses but again i'm not gonna wear them or show you the preview of like the outfit that i have planned until i do my hair Alrighty. So I got this one. It's giving very summery type of vibes. I love the pattern. It's very modest, very chic. Then this is the one that I'm so excited about because it is totally my vibe. And I could wear it with this bracelet that my friend made for me. It's so cute, guys. Look at it. It's my favorite color, yellow. This is like totally my type of fashion. I love when dresses have collars. Oh, that's my thing. And my favorite color is yellow. See, it looks so good already. It's giving like Belle such a beautiful color and it's long. It's gonna look so good, I can't. I took a shower and I did the hair repair kit treatment that I said I was gonna do. I'm doing a reel on this though. So if you wanna see the whole process, go to that. But I just thought I'd show you guys like my curls for the last time in a long time this is it they're really damaged i think the best my hair has looked when it was curly is when it was short guys my hair bro bro it's fire voila all right guys this is how it looks I am obsessed, as I always say. That's how you know I love something. If I go, I'm obsessed. It has some layers. They redid my bangs. We still have the length of my long hair. Hi. Mommy, what do you think of my hair? Beautiful. This is how it looks. The next day, my hair straightener came. And my glasses, my new glasses come in tomorrow. And I think that's it. I had to put it in a hair clip today because I work in a fast food place and I have to keep my hair back. I was nervous that it was gonna mess up the straightness. I feel like this side is keeping up better than this one. I have this inclination to straighten it and test it out for you, but I don't know. I don't think I can straighten it because it hasn't been three days yet. You know what I'm saying? Keratins activate with heat. So like after you shower for the first time after your keratin, you're supposed to straighten it. We're gonna unpack this TikTok shop straightener that has been trending. It's called Timo. You can just bet how excited I am to try it, it's honey. I was nervous to even order from a TikTok shop. Oh my gosh, I ordered the pink one. It's so cute. And I think it comes with clips and stuff like that. This is 
exciting. On Amazon, it was more expensive. On Amazon, it was like 40, but because I was a new customer, they gave it to me for like 19. It was like on sale for 39.99, so I got it on a very good price. Wow, I'm so excited. It comes with these clips. I've never had clips to put my hair back before, and it's like so iconic when people do, hey, get ready with me, and they clip it. Ooh, and it also comes with, what is this? Oh my gosh, it comes with like a little comb. A little comb with like small bristles. Ooh, this little package. Ooh, and it comes with gloves. For soft and thin hair, they recommend 266 Fahrenheit. For thin, fine, or bleached hair, it's 302. For dyed or dark colored hair, they recommend 338. For normal or slightly curly hair, 374. For thick, curly, and wavy hair, 410. I think I'm gonna do thin, fine, or bleached hair. I'm gonna do 302. This is why it's so special, because it's supposed to grab hair. This is my mom who has thick and curly hair, so I gave it a straight in and on the first try it was super straight my sister wanted to give it a try and we were just in shock at how well it worked this is in comparison to her curly hair wow whenever i do my first wash i'll take you guys with me but for the ever pure sulfate free weightless blow dry primer i'm gonna have to blow dry my hair first with this primer and then straighten it because we tried to use this before straightening my mom's hair and it was like some crispy noise in there which means it's not for that guys i just came out of work and i have to wear like a hair tie or a clip because i can't have my hair out for those of you who hear my podcast you can tell how excited I am to announce that I have a job. So basically, this is like one of the best hair ties because it did not bend my hair at all. My glasses came. I thought let's do a mukbang. So first things first, I got some granola for my parfait. Number eight, which is the grilled club with American cheese, no tomato, no bacon. And this is how it looks. It's so good. Let's take a huge bite because I'm hungry and I did not eat the whole day. You know how the food hits so differently when you're hungry? That's exactly how I feel right now. Like it's so good. This is how it's looking. My manager was like, oh wow, I like your hair. And I was like, oh thanks. And then my other manager, she was like, did you color your hair? It's different. I was like, oh, I straighten it and it's like lighter when I straighten it. One specific coworker, he was male and he was like, who are you? I don't know if he was joking around. So who are you? Are you new? I don't think I met you before. Trying to say that like I'm, I look different. Of course I have my hair tied back so they can't see it out, right? But it's so uncomfortable when I have to let it out after work. And I choose like not to let my hair out after work because it's like, why? Because I don't want to be the girl who's like, look at my hair out after work. You know what I'm saying? I just do it because like I need to have it out for the first few days. And I walked out today, there was like four team leaders there. They were male and they looked at me with my hair and they were like, and I was like, oh gosh, not them thinking I'm trying to be the center of attention here. Like, this is not it, so let me leave. But yeah, I don't like being the center of attention or I don't like when people look at me differently because I look different. I'm gonna open my glasses now. We're gonna see how it looks. Ah, they look like my old ones. These are large and the ones that I got are mediums. So let's just compare them right like really quickly. This is the ones that I was wearing and this is the one that I got. Does my face look lighter? <gasps> I love it. Uh, stop. You let me know which ones you like better. This was like the unboxing section of the glow up, but we're gonna put the pieces all together very, very, very soon. And I'm so excited. Hi guys. Keratin treatment is working quite well. Why? Because look, instead of curling up, it's straight. There's gonna be a little bit of curls. Don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna be that curly as it was before. And I'm just showing you my hair wet, so it's proof that you know that I actually took a shower and I'm not just lying just to be like, oh, the keratin treatment does work. It is not to say that you should get a keratin, but if you're like skeptical about them, cause I know I was when I did my first wash, I was like, it's gonna go away and I just wasted so much money. But so far so good. I mean, if you still smell it in there, that's a good sign because I still smell it in there. I thought the smell would go away, but it's still there. As long as it's working, it's okay. So we added the weightless primer already. Will it straighten just with the blow dryer or will I have to pass it over with the straightener? So that's like the big question right now. 
All right, guys, so my hair is completely dry. With the blow dryer, this is how it looks. So the blow dryer always makes it poofy. I think that's where I bought the straightener because I remember. I was like, wait, is it gonna come out like fully really straight? And it is straight, you know? But to add that finishing really like straightening touch, we're gonna go in with this straightener. I'm so excited, you guys. Hopefully, because this is not like a regular straightener, I'm praying that it does not like burn my hair because I was hearing some reviews how like this product from TikTok burns your hair so i just want to be careful and that's why i bought the heat protecting and stuff it matches look you know when the gurus be putting their hair back when they do their makeup that's how i feel right now i'm gonna get close to you and it feels so soft it does not feel like i'm getting burned oh the keratin i smell it and it's burning my eyes when i got my previous keratins i used to be very lazy and i never straightened it now i know what to use the gloves for it feels soft it does not feel burnt at all very very smooth love it you're probably wondering oh but doesn't a keratin mean like you won't have to straighten it anymore like what's the point so keratins are for like people who have really poofy frizzy hair it makes it softer smoother it like settles it down because trust me when i straighten my hair it does not come out straight in fact it still comes out poofy i don't really consider the keratin bad i know some people view it as bad because they're like oh but you have curly hair like why are you getting a permanent treatment you know what i'm saying i think it helps the hair stay naturally beautiful and it doesn't really change the appearance but just takes away the frizz and makes it smoother i mentioned before on this channel i'm a textured hair girly so i just do what's best for me my hair was never fully curly it was always straight or curly like i would have days where it's like hey you're straight today hey you're curly today it was very frustrating for me look how straight guys i'm just passing it over good morning you like my hair you had a good sleep so that is trying the shampoo the conditioner the heat protectant the hair straightener now you guys are gonna see me in camp with the outfits guys this cabin is so cool that's besides the point i wanted to show you my fit because i'm gonna change soon the dress the shoes second outfit my hair and these my heels I completely forgot to end the video, but that has been my recap of the glow up video. It was kind of like all over the place, but still you can see my excitement about everything. I just want to say, I just want to put it out there that this youth camp trip was like one of the best rewarding trips ever. And you can tell I was so excited when showing you those dresses about how I look, but also throughout the trip, I kept thinking about how this glow up video was to feel better right and even though i do feel better i just want to say that vanity isn't everything because that's what it is right like you want to like make yourself feel better by treating yourself and not that that is bad but if you go into the youth camp worrying about your appearance it will get to you and you won't be able to enjoy the presence of the lord i did not take the mindset of i have to look pretty you know back in the day i used to take that mindset to camp like my outfits need to be pretty my makeup needs to be pretty i barely wore makeup i just wore my beautiful dresses that i packed my glasses but i just i put my hair back i did not worry at all about my appearance which was so ironic because this whole video was supposed to be about a glow up what really glowed up was my heart because i stopped thinking about how i can look to please others and started focusing on how can i please the lord thank you guys for watching this glow up video i feel really good right now i am in a state where i am able to not be so hard on myself stay tuned for more future videos coming out because i filmed a lot of videos simultaneously so yeah thanks again for watching bye guys